Hello and welcome yogi friends. My name is Tamara. Our yoga session today is going to be about balancing our root chakra. We're living in kind of uncertain times facing a lot of job losses, fear about not having enough groceries or supplies for our family, and just anxiety, low simmering panic about what tomorrow is going to bring. So this comes right down to our basics, our survival, which is in line with the root chakra. Our feelings of safety and security, having our needs met, the basic needs of food, shelter, and water. So what are chakras, you may be asking? Well, chakra is a Sanskrit word, which means wheel or disc, and it's often depicted as a spinning colored vortex or energy like a energy center and there's seven main ones along the length of your spine so today's practice is going to be focused on our root chakra which is literally the chakra of security so to begin we're going to settle down into child's pose so coming onto your mat you have options here you can have your knees wide as the mat with your big toes touching forehead pressed to the mat, or you can come into traditional child's pose with your knees closer, and maybe your hands are alongside your body, palms flipped up, and just begin settling in, melting your hips towards your heels, resting your forehead on the mat or a block, grounding down the third eye center. Now just become aware of your breath, feeling it on the tip of the nose, the nostrils, the chest, and filling up the belly. Then visualize a swirling red ball of energy at the base of the spine, our root chakra. With your inhales, the ball of light rises the length of the spine to the crown of the head. On the exhale, the ball of light descends down the base to the base of the spine. Inhale, the ball of light raises up your spine. Exhale, the ball of light descends down to the base of the spine. Really begin grounding in, focusing the mind. So the root chakra, the Sanskrit word is Mulahara chakra, is red and located at the base of your spine. Think of the root chakra as the foundation for all other chakras, where your very basic needs of survival instincts reside. Now walking your hands over to the right, Pressing that left sit bone into the earth, reaching with the left fingertips, maybe they cross over the right hand, just opening up through your side body and inhaling spaciousness into this area. When the root chakra is balanced, there is a feeling of stability, security, trust, and material safety. And then on your exhale, begin walking your hands over to the left side, pressing that right sit bone down, really reaching through the right fingertips, maybe crossing over and placing your right hand on top of your left. Continue breathing and opening up spaciousness in the body. When your root chakra is out of balance, you may find yourself worrying too much feeling lazy. That's been a big, big struggle for me. I'm having more time at home with social distancing and I feel like a slug. So I know that I need some balancing in my root chakra. Sometimes feelings of anger will build if you have an imbalance in the root chakra. Maybe you're clinging to people around you who project a sense of safety. Physical manifestation issues might be colon pain, constipation, sciatica, lower back pain, hemorrhoids or menstrual cramps. 
And then on an exhale, walking the hands back to center, taking one more deep breath in through the nose. And slowly rolling all the way up from your child's pose, coming to sit on your knees in our hero's pose. From here, we're gonna cross the right arm under the left, coming into a eagle arm. Inhale, raising the arms up a little bit higher. Exhaling, releasing the arms, stretching the arms wide, clasping the hands behind you, and extending the arms, really shining through the heart, opening up the chest. Breathing here for three. On your next exhale, releasing the clasp and then sweeping the arms back to the front. Left arm coming under the right arm this time, taking your eagle pose. Inhale, stretching the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, releasing the twist, floating the hands down to your lap and then shifting forward to come to your tabletop. From here, you're gonna do a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the chin. Exhale, rounding through the back like a big rainbow, drawing that navel to spine. Inhale, dropping the belly. Tilting the pelvis up, chin up, and exhale, drawing that belly in, making a round back like an angry cat. And then coming down to your forearms. Maybe you walk the forearms out a little bit, coming into your puppy pose, really opening up through the shoulders. Again, visualizing the red spinning vortex of energy at the base of the spine and on your inhales, the ball of energy rises up the spine. On your exhales, it descends down your spine. Another powerful tool to balancing the root chakra is the word affirmations because affirmations or our self-talk and what we tell ourselves becomes our reality. So throughout our practice today, I'm going to just generally sprinkle in words of affirmations that you can use as tools off the mat to help keep your root chakra balance. So right now, repeat to yourself, I am taken care of. From here, we're going to shift right into forearm plank. Feeling strong, pressing through the elbows, strong energy through the heels, taking three breaths, even breaths in and out through the nose. Then taking that right arm and lining up parallel with the front edge of your mat, we're gonna roll over to the right side, coming into our side plank. Maybe you lift your hip up a little bit higher. Holding here for three breaths. Mm -hmm. 
On your next exhale, come back to your forearm plank, resetting, and then lining up the left forearm parallel with the front edge of your mat and rolling over to the left side plank. So you can have one foot on top of the other or one foot in front of the other if that helps with your balance. Think about lifting your hips a little bit higher toward the sky. And when it gets hard, bring your focus back to the breath. On your exhale, rolling back down, lining the forearms parallel with each other, and then pressing your hips up and back, coming into your dolphin. Maybe you stretch the legs out, alternating, bending one and then the other. Think about pressing the chest towards your thighs. Then exhale back to your forearm plank, holding it here for five, four, three, two, one, and lowering all the way down onto the floor, resting your forehead on your palms. Taking a mini front Shavasana and saying to yourself, I am safe. I am grounded. Using these word our affirmations can help you become more energetic, have stronger willpower, and more endurance. And when your root chakra is in balance, you'll feel a greater connection with nature and a sense of security. These affirmations can also help you feel more stability with your finances, mental health, wellness, and spirituality. A big component of yoga I always feels connecting the mind, body, and spirit. And then from here, we're going to cactus our arms down beside us. And on the inhale, we're going to raise our arms up and our feet up. Saying hello to our posterior chain and holding it here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, resting the forehead on the palms. And bring the arms back beside the body. On an inhale, lift the arms and the legs, holding it for five, four, three, two, one. Gently release back down to the mat. Last time, inhale, lifting the arms and the legs, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Lowering all the way down and then pressing yourself back to your tabletop, lining your shoulders over your wrist lining up hips over your knees maybe you shake it out a little bit shake your head side to side wag the tail maybe make some c curves turn and the look to the left at your left hip then look to the right at your right hip maybe you do some barrel roll rolls and then coming back to stillness making sure you're lined up Inhale, reaching the right arm toward the sky and threading it under into thread the needle. Resting the right side of your face onto your mat. We have a few options here to play around with. You can either stay right here, opening up the space between the shoulder blades, or you can take that left hand and bind it behind your back, rolling the shoulder open. If you always want to play with your balance, you can lift that leg up. And if you fall over, that's okay. Just laugh and come right back to it. What's life if we don't have a few oops and try something a little bit out of our comfort zone? So holding here for two more breaths. Repeating to yourself, I am taken care of. I am at home in my own body. And then releasing whatever variation you have of thread at the needle, coming back to your tabletop, wagging it out. Then on an inhale, reaching the left arm up toward the sky 
Exhale, threading it under, under to come to thread the needle, resting the side of your face on your mat. Visualizing again that spinning ball, red ball of energy at the base of your spine, bringing focus and attention to this area. Then taking any variation, you might want to play around with balance, lifting the right leg up, right arm bound behind you. But wherever you are, continue focusing on your breath with the visualization of your root chakra, that spinning red vortex of energy at the base of your spine. On your next exhale, come out of whatever variation you are back to tabletop. And then sinking back to your child's pose. Repeating to yourself, I am grounded. The earth supports me and meets my every need. Then flipping the toes under, pressing the hips up and high, coming into your downward facing dog. Let's take the feet out wide, maybe as wide as your mat for a wide downward dog. And here you can begin pedaling out the feet, walking your dog, shaking your head side to side, maybe windshield wipe over to the right, then shift them over to the left. Staying here for five grounding breaths. Grounding through the hands, through the feet, visualizing that big red ball, a spinning light at the base of your spine. Saying to yourself, I am grounded. Taking a big breath through your nose. This time, sign it, it out your mouth. <sighs> One more big breath in through your nose. Sign it out, ah, letting it go, really letting it all out, letting out anything that no longer serves you, the anxiety, the worry, the stress. Just let it go. Then looking up between your hands, very slowly, mindfully, using every surface of your foot, walk to the front of your mat with your feet about hip width apart and just hanging here in a juicy, delicious forward fold. A beautiful variation is grabbing opposite elbows, picture framing your face, and maybe just swaying your body side to side. Head is heavy, feet are grounded firmly into the earth. Spinning ball of red energy at the spine. With your inhales, maybe it travels up your spine toward the crown of your head. With your exhale, Flowing back down the spine, toward the base of the spine, creating energy and balance. And on the inhale, halfway lift, long through the crown of the head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead. Maybe taking a mini back bend, really opening through the heart drawing the palms together and down to your heart center. Standing here and releasing the hands into Samastitihi. I am financially secure. Then exhale to a forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead, taking a nice back bend. Maybe you cactus your arms back. Coming back up, hands together, draw them all the way down, right back into your forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale for forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms up over your head, cactusing the arms, back bending. Palms together, 
down through your heart center all the way forward full, into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. Exhale into a mini back bend. Inhale the arms back up, palms touching. And then walking the feet together, big toes touching and sinking down into your chair pose. Taking a peek here that your knees are not extending past your toes. And making sure the booty's not popping, maybe tucking the pelvis a little bit. And then maybe you sink down just a little deeper. On exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale this time, planting your hands down on your mat, coming into a plank or dropping the knees into a modified plank. And then lowering all the way down to the mat. Sliding the hands beside the ribs and inhaling up into your cobra. Then flipping the toes under, exhale, pressing the hips up and back, coming into your downward facing dog, feeling strong and grounded. Hands are like starfish hands, really gripping into your mat. Your feet are like in red clay, just really melting and gripping into the ground. Visualizing the red ball of spinning light at the base of your sacrum, base of the spine, saying, I am safe and grounded. Then inhaling the right leg up, squaring the hips to the mat. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, Right leg up, three-legged dog. Inhale, knees to nose. Exhale, leg back up, three-legged dog. Inhale, knee to nose. And step the right foot forward, this time between your hands, coming into your low lunge. The back knee can be down or up. I am provided for. Bringing the hands to the right knee, finding your balance, your stability, then inhaling the arms overhead into our Anjane Asana, low crescent moon. Then exhale the left hand to the floor, opening the right arm, coming into our dragonfly. Really opening up through the heart. Bringing your attention back to the breath. Exhale, planting both hands down on the mat. Look down at your feet. We're going to walk that right foot over to the side of your mat. Coming down onto our elbows into our lizard pose. Feeling a beautiful hip stretcher. I live in an abundant universe. And then begin walking the feet back in. And we're going to shift back into our half split. And begin having a conversation with the hamstring. And maybe you flex that right foot, drawing that right hip back. Then shifting forward, swing that right leg back behind you. We'll go with our vinyasa. Holding here with a plank. 
Long line of energy from crown of head to heel. Your knees can be up or down. Exhale, coming down to your cobra, or this time maybe you try up dog with knees and thighs lifted off your mat. Then flipping the toes, exhale, pressing hips up and high, downward facing dog. And holding here. With your powerful yoga breathing in and out through the nose. Saying to yourself, I am powerful, rooted and strong. Then inhale, lifting the left leg up, squaring the hips to your mat. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, shooting the left leg back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Holding it here, squeezing in the abs. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. And this time, planting that left foot up between your hands, coming into your Anjane Asana, your low lunge. Your knee can be up or down. Finding your balance and your stability, coming up onto, bringing your hands to your knees. And then inhaling the arms overhead. Feeling strong. Bringing awareness to the base of our spine. The red ball of spinning light and energy. Then on an exhale, planting that opposite hand down, opening up into your dragonfly twist. Really opening through the heart, letting that heart shine. And then planting your hand down, looking down at your left foot, walking it toward the edge of your mat. Maybe it even comes up on the side of the foot. Coming down into your lizard pose. Really opening up and stretching the hips. Saying to yourself, I am safe. And then walking back up, shifting backwards, coming into your half split. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine, and maybe you exhale, folding forward over your left leg. And then shifting back, swinging that left leg back behind you. We're going to go with our vinyasa coming up to our plank pose, knees up or down. And then shifting forward, taking maybe your chaturanga, inhaling to up dog or your cobra. Exhale, pressing hips up and high, downward facing dog, pressing chest to thigh. Your gaze, your dristy gaze is between your knees. Head is heavy. Arms are strong, legs are strong. Then looking up between your hands, walk mindfully to the front of your mat, hanging in forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms up overhead, taking up a lot of space. Touching the palms together and bringing the hands to heart center. Then drop the hands to your side. Stand tall in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Feel your feet really, really grounded into the earth. Feel the tripod of your foot, the big toe side, the little toe side, and your heel. And visualize this swirling ball of red energy at the base of your spine. 
and inhaling to the crown of your head. Then slowly, mindfully sit down, bringing the soles of the feet together into Baddha Konasana and massaging the bottom of your feet. Making sure to get between the toes, maybe thread your fingers between your toes. It might feel super uncomfortable, but it's actually really healthy to bring space, spaciousness between the toes. Maybe you concentrate on the arches of your feet, the big toe mound, all the way across to the little toe mound. Massaging here for just a few more seconds. And then stand back up into Dasana. Feel the sensitivity of your feet and the way they ground down. Imagine with this heightened sense of awareness that you are standing in rich soil that will nourish and support your growth. Standing here feeling grounded and saying to yourself, I am connected to my body and soul. And then we can't do a root chakra yoga session without a tree pose, feeling really, really rooted into the earth. So let's begin with our right foot, shifting the weight to the right foot. And then maybe kickstanding the left foot at the ankle or the calf. Maybe you bring it up to the groin. The palms can be together at heart center. Sometimes you can focus on a non-moving tristy to help with the balance. Sometimes your tree will sway. You can hold your arms up in the air, growing your tree limbs. Your eyes can be open or closed if you want a super big challenge. And saying to yourself, I am open to all possibilities. And then with mindfulness control, placing that left foot back on the ground. And maybe you just shake it out. And then we're going to try the same thing on the left foot. So put all the weight into the left foot. And find your dristy. And maybe kick standing that right foot. At the ankle, the calf, on the thigh, to the groin. Really pressing that foot into the left leg may help with balance really engaging your core muscles. Maybe you grow your tree branches. Maybe you play with closing your eyes. And then as mindfully and carefully as you can, bringing that right foot back down to the mat and then just shake it out. Maybe you wiggle it out a little bit. Maybe you do a little dance and plays. Maybe you wave your arms in the air like you just don't care. And then we're going to walk the feet about hip width apart. Exhale into a forward fold. And then sink down into your malasana. Then extending your arms in front of you, maybe you clasp the hands, pointing the fingers together, and inhale to come back to standing. Really using the strength of your legs and your glutes, or sink back down into malasana. And then press back up to standing. One more time, sinking down into your malasana squat. 
while you're holding here in Malasana, hands are at heart center, maybe your elbows pressing your knees open a little further, lifting up through the pelvic floor, visualizing that spinning red vortex of energy, the base of your spine, breathing deeply then exhale planting the right hand on the earth open up raising the left hand toward the sky into a beautiful twist and breathing into your twist exhale that left hand back to the earth planting the left hand down on the ground Inhale the right arm up toward the sky, opening up into another beautiful twist, letting your heart shine through, lifting the pelvic floor, saying to yourself, I am strong and grounded. I'm safe and secure. I live in an abundant universe. Exhale, plant that right hand back on the earth. And we're going to very carefully sit down onto our bottoms. Bringing the soles of the feet together. Finding length in your spine. Baddha Konasana feet. So maybe we slide your feet out a little further today. Finding a nice diamond shape. And inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. You have the option to slide your arms under your legs, coming down into kind of like a turtle pose. If you can, bring your head down to a block or close to your feet. Stretching out the lumbar spine and the hips. Saying to yourself, I am connected to the universe and to the earth. On your next exhale, begin slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Keeping the left leg bent, extend the right leg in front of you. Inhale, stretching over the right leg. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe you find your big toe. Maybe clasping around the foot. Visualizing the root chakra energy, red vortex swirling at the base of your spine, feeling that ball of energy moving up and down the spine with the inhales and exhales, having a conversation with the right hamstring, and breathing in space anywhere that feels constricted. On your next exhale, release being whatever grip you have and rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Straighten both legs in front of you. Maybe shake them out a little bit. Roll the feet side to side. And then bending the right leg, placing the right foot into the groin of the left. Extending the left leg out nice and long. Turn and face that left leg, inhaling your arms overhead. Exhale, hip hinging and folding over that straight leg. Clasping wherever it feels good. Maybe you're finding your shin today. Maybe your ankle, big toe. Maybe you're able to clasp around the foot. Saying hello to the left hamstring. On your exhale, release being whatever clasp you have and slowly rolling up, stacking the vertebrae on top of each other. And then find your easy sitting, your easy Sukhasana, any position where your spine is long, 
nice length and space. And we're going to begin just moving the body in a nice circle. In Kundalini Yoga, we call this a Sufi grind. It's wonderful for stimulating and waking up all the chakras up and down the spine. So just moving the body in the way it feels really, really good. And then we're going to reverse and go the opposite direction. And when you're feeling even out, coming back to center, sitting up nice and long. And just begin doing some neck rolls, maybe rolling from one ear to the shoulder to the opposite shoulder. Maybe you're able to make a full circle, being really mindful when you go back with neck extension. Maybe you linger in one spot that feels extra juicy or sore, just needs just that little bit of extra time. And if you're making circles, make sure you go in the opposite direction. Or you can be making half circles from one shoulder to the other shoulder. And then coming back to center. We're going to plant both feet onto the mat. And come into our Navasana boat pose. So lifting up nice and proud through the chest. Holding the arms up parallel to the ground. Maybe you play around with lifting one foot and then the other, coming into your boat pose. Keeping the chest up and proud at all times, pressing that navel to your spine. If you want an extra challenge, try extending and straightening both legs. Holding here, four, five, four, three, two, one and slowly lowering all the way down to the mat and taking a nice long body stretch here from fingertips to toes. Ah, that feels so fantastic. And then planting your feet back onto the mat, bending your knees, taking that right ankle and placing it over the left knee, coming into our reclined pigeon. So staying here if it feels good already. Or reaching behind the left thigh and drawing it towards you. Maybe use your right elbow to press that knee open just a little bit more. Stretching into that piriformis. Saying to yourself, I trust the goodness in life. Sometimes in my recline pigeon, I have to rock side to side a little bit. I feel like I'm getting a little cramp in my hip. So do what you need to do to make this reclined pigeon your best pigeon. Making sure to keep that right foot flexed to protect the right knee. And then gently releasing the hold of your left thigh placing both feet on the floor wide as the mat and windshield wiper the knee side to side, releasing the lumbar spine, the hips. Then coming back to stillness, walking the feet parallel back toward each other and then placing the left ankle over the right knee with the ankle hanging off, flexing that left foot, staying here if it feels good, reaching behind that left leg and drawing it towards you. Oh, actually, it's your right leg. And breath into the tight spot. Maybe rocking side to side a little bit. The stretch can be dynamic. Then releasing that leg, planting both feet wide as the mat, dropping the knees toward each other, coming into our constructive rest. And just noticing your body. And just by using your awareness, where can you soften? Is it your face? The jaw? Your shoulders?
then walking the feet parallel to each other, dropping the knees over to the right, taking your arms out as a T, coming into a beautiful twist. Inhale, bringing the knees back up, resetting, and dropping the knees over to the left. Twists are great for detoxifying our internal organs, squeezing and wringing out toxins. Then inhale, coming back up. Feet are planted about hip width apart. See if you can reach down with your fingertips to graze your heels. And we're going to do a back bend with a bridge pose. So on an inhale, pressing the hips up toward the sky. Maybe you clasp the hands together underneath your backs, walking the shoulder blades together. Keeping the neck still. Pressing the hips maybe a little higher. Sometimes it helps to go up on your tippy toes and you can lift a little higher, tracking the knees toward each other and then maybe lower the heels down, but keeping the hips high. And then unclasping your hands and slowly rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Windshield wiping those knees side to side. And then if you have a block handy, you can place it under your sacrum. If not, you can stay on the floor. And on an inhale, we're going to raise the legs overhead coming into our waterfall. Always, always a good thing to get the feet above the heart for a few minutes every day. Helps with venous flow back to the heart. Helps decrease swelling in the feet. Helps calm the mind. And while you're lying here with your feet in the air, imagining the vortex of spinning red ball of light at the base of your spine. Just bringing awareness to this area. And saying to yourself, I trust the goodness of life. Then exhaling, we're going to slowly lower the feet back to the ground. If you're on a block, gently remove it out of the way. And then stretching the legs out, nice and long, another nice long body stretch. Fingertips to toes, like a bear coming out of hibernation. Oh, it feels so good to stretch. And then inhale the legs back in the air and grabbing on the outside of your feet, coming into our happy baby. Maybe you're rocking your baby side to side back and forth, straightening one leg and then the other leg. And then releasing your legs down nice and long. We're gonna hug that right knee into your chest, really, really hug it in. So that's actually pressing on your ascending colon. Remember that the root chakra is connected with the organs of elimination. which is quite apparent as evidenced by the run on toilet paper in America. When we start feeling insecure, everybody's like, we need toilet paper. I found that very ironic and appropriate. And then on the exhale, straightening that right leg and hugging your left knee to your, your colon, really, really stimulating that descending colon. Maybe play around with some ankle circles here. Sometimes I even turn my head side to side. Everything can be dynamic. It feels good. And then releasing that knee. 
nice long body stretch and then taking up a lot of space maybe your legs are wide your arms out at your side arms facing the sky preparing our bodies for savasana so shavasana is our corpse pose we become dead to the world we give our body time to assimilate all the movements we've been doing all the chakras we've been opening up and balancing giving our mind a chance to calm and come to stillness with our bodies so let's just do a quick body scan feeling your body heavy melting into your mat and begin thinking of that big ball of rotating light at the base of your spine as it fills your body moving up the spine vibrant and red all the way to the crown of the head maybe a little above the crown of the head and then dropping back down to your spine on your exhale feeling the warmth and tingle on your skin feeling everything heavy melting into the earth softening where you can the shoulders melting down the face the chest the legs the arms all heavy and melting You are the earth. You are the mountain. Be unmovable, be unshakable. Take care of you. Your health, your body, your space, however tiny it is and wherever you find yourself. Even if your space at this moment is the four corners of your mat. Grounding yourself is the first step to finding yourself. Closing your eyes, being in your body, melting ever so more until you feel that most of you is connected to what you are lying on and breathe into that connection. Visualizing a ball of swirling red light deep and vibrant at the base of your spine. In this ball is everything you believe about safety, stability, support, and your right to stand at the edge of that mountain and shout to the silver of the moon, I am here. Ask yourself this question. Do you feel you have the right to be here? And let those answers rise. Ask yourself this question. How do you treat your body? How do you relate to it? How do you feel in it? And let the answers rise. Ask yourself, do you feel safe in your life? Do you have all the things you need? and let the answers rise. Each morning as you wake, spend one minute in bed, expressing gratitude to yourself for all the things you have. Then as you slide your feet out from under the covers and touch the ground, remember where everything comes from.
begin to lengthen and deepen the breath. Begin wiggling your fingers and your toes, making circles with your wrists and your ankles. Inhaling, arms overhead, nice long body stretch. And then hugging the knees into your chest. Maybe rocking ever so slightly, side to side. And rolling over to your favorite side. Curling up in the fetal position, cradling your head in your arms. Feeling safe like you did in the womb. Maybe noticing how your breath is connecting with your heartbeat. Then slowly and mindfully pressing yourself up to seating to meet me in Sukhasana. Inhaling your arms overhead, touching the palms together and bring them to your heart. Today, may there be peace within. May you trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you never forget the infinite possibilities that are born of faith in yourself and others. May you use the gifts you have received and pass on the love that has been given to you. May you be content with yourself just the way you are. Let this knowledge settle into your bones and allow your soul the feeling to sing, dance, praise, and love. Thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful root chakra balancing flow. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste.